So, hello everyone. So today we will discuss about MOSFET and in our next couple of videos I will discuss with you about the MOSFET device structure and physical operations and in the current and voltage characteristics and MOSFET circuits at the DC just like the DC biasing and etc. So first I will today's talk, today's video will be based on just the introduction and the device structure and the working principle of the MOSFET. So first, uh, let's see what is MOSFET. The MOSFET M stands for metal, O stands for oxide, A stands for semiconductor, and F stands for field, E stands for effect, and T stands for transistor. So I think uh, I already have one video on FET field effect transistor. So who didn't watch that video yet? So maybe you can go to my channel and just see that video. So today our topic will be MOSFET. So from the name you can easily understand this is the one type of field effect transistor where we have extra component like metal, oxide and the semiconductor. So first in the introduction we will see about the types of MOSFET. So we have typically two types of MOSFET. One is the enhancement type MOSFET and another is the depletion type MOSFET. So these are the symbols of the uh, different type of MOSFET. So in enhancement type MOSFET, we have two MOSFET. One is the in-channel enhancement type MOSFET and another is the p-channel enhancement type MOSFET. And in the depletion time is the same. There is the in-channel and the p-channel. So you can easily see in the in-channel MOSFET, you can see that this is a channel and it's not created yet. So that's why it's called enhancement type MOSFET. So we need to create the channel. But you can see here in the depletion type MOSFET, if the channel is already created, that's why it's a continuous line in the in channel, both in channel and p channel. And you already know the this sign, the arrow mark. For n channel, the arrow is the outwards, and the, for the p channel, arrow is the inward. So by seeing the circuit symbol, you can easily distinguish that this MOSFET is a enhancement type MOSFET or the depletion type MOSFET. So basically the main main uh, difference between the enhancement type MOSFET and the depletion type MOSFET is the in enhancement type MOSFET the channel is not created but the, in the depletion type MOSFET the channel is already created. That means in the uh, for the enhancement type MOSFET if VGS is equal to zero then this MOSFET will not work. But if the VGS for VGS for the depletion type MOSFET is equal to zero sorry is equal to zero still we can see the current will flow from den to source as the channel is already created so these these are the simple types of mosfet enhancement type mosfet and the depletion type mosfet now we will go through the device structure and the working principle so now let's go for the design device structure So you can see the image, this is a N-channel MOSFET, N-channel enhancement type MOSFET. Why is N-channel? I will explain you later. Why is this channel? But for the N-channel enhancement type MOSFET, you can see here, the first part is a substrate. And the substrate is made of a P-type semiconductor. Okay. And you can see here, this, uh, this part and this part is the N-type semiconductor. Where, what is the denote by N plus? N plus means the heavily doped N type semiconductor. Okay, so this two is this two is the semiconductor part, and the other part is the this is the metal. This three is the metal. Here also you can see is one metal with this with the body, and this is the SiO2. You can see this is the SiO2. SiO2 means the just the silicon dioxide. That's why you call it oxide. So you can understand. MOSFET means the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So you can see here the metal oxide and the semiconductors. Okay. So now you can see the terminals. Generally, MOSFET is a four terminal device. Okay. Source, this is the source. This is drain. This part is a gate. This part is a gate. And this part is a substrate. Okay. Where source and substrate is commonly ground together that's why in this slide I, I i show you here you can see there is only three terminal drain gate and source okay so that means this source is virtually connect with the 
substrate or body that's why in some books you can see the substrate and source is a different terminal but generally it's grounded together that's why is is just shows a three terminal device okay so now i will go through the working principle of the mosfet thank you for watching my video and share this concept with your friend and like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you